How to set up Apache Spark development environment. In this video tutorial, I am going to teach you how you can easily set up the Spark development environment. For this, you need JDK 8 or latest, SBT, the interactive build tool, then Scala, Hadoop runtime, then Maven build tool, Spark binary, and Eclipse IDE. So, first of all, you have to download the JDK and install you can visit the website of oracle and download the jdk here we have video tutorial which tells you how you can install jdk 8 on uh, windows computer so jdk 1.8 is already installed on my computer so next step is to download the sbt tool so you can visit here and download the SBT tool from here. So we can download it in the zip format and uh, I have already downloaded it here and it is SBT. So SBT zip is here. So this is the SBT. So I will place it in the C colon slash SBT directory. So next thing is to create the SBT home environment variable control panel. Edit system environment variables new sbt underscore home and this is the sbt home. Now we can include the this in the path variable. So edit and then percentage sp underscore sbt underscore home percentage slash pin. Now OK. Now we have to download the Scala. You can visit this website and download the Scala from here. So I already downloaded the Scala on my computer. So we can run the installer. Next, accept license. Next, and uh, by default it is installing in the program files slash Scala. So copy it and then click next and install. This installer is installing the Scala. Click yes. It is installed. Now we'll have to create the variable called Scala home. Edit system environment variables. Environment variables. Then new Scala home. And on my computer, this computer, it is in this directory. So we can Scala. Then we have to include the this one Scala home slash bin to the path variable. Add it. Okay. Okay. Now we have to download the Maven build tool. Maven is already installed on my computer. MVN minus minus version. So MVN is already installed on my computer. And if you don't know how to download and install, you can visit this page and learn from here. This Maven is already installed on my computer. Next thing is to download the Hadoop runtime. You can skip this uh, step and directly go to the, you can download the Spark. There are two options. One, you can download the Hadoop and install on a computer. And second option is to download the Spark binary with the Hadoop. So we can go here, then we can select pre-built with Hadoop 2.6 or later and later and select direct download and now click here. So it will download the Apache Spark. I already downloaded the Apache Spark on my computer and this is Spark with Hadoop. So I will unzip this. Now I can move in some directory. And now Spark is ready for me. So I will go to this directory. CLS CD this CD directory. So I am in this directory. And to Spark, start this Spark now. You will have to run the command park shell. So it's in min directory. We should go to this directory. So I copied the directory here and pasted here. Now I'm in the this directory. So this is the park shell S P A R K S H E T L. So this is the spark shell that will start the spark for us and it is starting now and uh, this will start on the port number 4040 so it is uh, starting now 
is started and we can see the spark cell here it is displaying some statistics jobs these are the jobs then stages storage environment then the executors sql so from here you can see what's going on with this spark environment so it is uh, they giving some error but scala okay since this is uh, actually trying to access so these are the actually different uh, things you can different reports you can view in the spark shell or spark jobs now we'll try to run some the, um, the command so you can write where message is equal to this and now we can print the print message so it is printing hello world so this way you can use the spark on your local computer so in future tutorials i will show you how you can use the spark more uh, business desktop process. So in the next tutorials i will show you how you can use the spark to process the big data to so, uh, stop just click the exit and it is stop so in this tutorial you learned how to configure the spark development environment and use the latest build of spark from pache thanks for watching the video and uh, you can see many tutorials on spark on our website and we have thousands of tutorials on programming languages like Hibernate, Struts, XML, Spring, Java, testing frameworks, databases and so on. So visit our website and learn from these tutorials.